Bonnie Lee Backley, June 7, 1956, May 4, 2001, married actor Robert Blake for the second time, making him her 11th marriage. Backley was assassinated in May 2001 while sitting in Blake's parked vehicle outside a Los Angeles restaurant. Blake was charged with murder, solicitation of murder, conspiracy, and lying in wait in 2002. Blake was found not guilty of the charges in March 2005 by a jury. Blake was held responsible seven months later in a wrongful death case filed against him by Backley's children. Backley's murder remains unsolved on an official level. Bonnie Lee Backley was born in Morristown, New Jersey, to Edward J. Backley and Marjorie Lois Backley, an arborist. Marjorie Lisa Backley, Joe Backley, and her half-brother Peter Carline from her mother's second marriage were Backley's siblings. She was reared and resided in Glen Gardner, New Jersey, with her grandmother, while her mother owned an antique shop at 6 Cossett Street in Wharton. Backley dropped out of high school at the age of 16 to pursue a career in modeling and acting at the Barbizon School of Modeling in New York City. There she met Evangelos Paulakis, an immigrant who needed to marry in order to remain in the United States. Backley consented to marry him for a fee, but then terminated the marriage nearly immediately, Paulakis was deported. Backley married Paul Gorin, her first cousin, at the age of 21. This would prove to be the longest of her 11 marriages, lasting about five years, and they produced two children together, Glenn and Holly. In 1982, the couple divorced. Backley started a mail-order company selling naked photographs of women, including herself, in order to sustain herself. Additionally, she placed Lonely Hearts advertisements in publications seeking a man-friend. She would communicate with the guys who responded to her advertisements and request money for rent or travel costs. Backley's company and frauds ultimately enabled her to purchase numerous homes in Memphis, Tennessee, and one outside of Los Angeles. She attempted but failed to establish a Hollywood career as a singer and actress under the stage name Lee Bonnie. Backley was jailed many times as a result of the nature of her mail-order company and other activities. In 1989, she was arrested and fined $300 in Memphis for narcotics possession. She was arrested in 1995 for trying to pass two bad checks from a Memphis record company's account. She was fined $1,000 in order to work weekends on a prison farm after pleading guilty to lesser crimes. In 1998, she was jailed in Little Rock, Arkansas, for having five separate driver's licenses and seven different social security cards. Backley used the IDs to get access to different post offices in order to conduct her Lonely Hearts fraud. Backley has a history of seeking celebrities, as described by her friends and family as celebrity-obsessed. Backley's phone chats on tape show that she was starstruck and adamant on marrying a celebrity. Being around superstars makes you feel better than ordinary people, she previously said. Backley started courting musician Jerry Lee Lewis in 1990. Backley later met Lewis and became good friends with Linda Gale Lewis, Lewis' sister. In 1993, she claimed that her daughter, Jerry Lee, was Lewis' kid. DNA testing, however, subsequently contradicted her allegation. Backley relocated to California after the birth of Jerry Lee. She left Jerry Lee in the care of her ex-husband Paul, but continued to support her financially. Backley sought other superstars in California, including Dean Martin and Frankie Valley. Backley said they dated as teenagers, Valley disputed the allegation, and Gary Busey. In 1991, she developed an interest in Christian Brando, the oldest son of Academy Award-winning actor Marlon Brando and former actress Anna Kashvi. Christian Brando had become a media figure after his conviction for the murder of his half-sister's lover, Dag Drolet. Brando was sentenced to 10 years in jail after pleading guilty to the lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter. Backley started writing to him and sending him photographs while he was inside. After Brando's 1996 release, he started a love connection with Backley. Backley learned she was pregnant in 1999 and originally believed Brando was the father. She gave birth to her fourth child, Christian Shannon Brando, in June 2000. While Backley dated Christian Brando, she also dated actor Robert Blake, whom she met in 1999 at a jazz bar. Following the birth of Christian Shannon Brando, Backley informed Blake that she was uncertain of the child's paternity and suggested that he could be the father. Blake insisted on a paternity test, which revealed that he, not Brando, was the biological father of Backley's youngest kid. Rose Lenore Sophia Blake was officially changed to Rose Lenore Sophia Blake once paternity was confirmed. Blake agreed to marry Backley if she signed a temporary custody arrangement. Backley promised to supervise her contacts with Rose and to get formal permission for her friends and relatives to visit Blake's home as part of the arrangement. Additionally, the agreement stated that if one spouse chose to dissolve the marriage, the other would maintain custody of Rose. Backley's attorney urged her not to sign the agreement due to its unbalanced nature. 
she disregarded her attorney's advice and signed the agreement on October 4, 2000, against her attorney's advice. Backley married Blake in November 2000. Despite their marital status, the pair never lived together. Backley and Rose shared a tiny guest home in Studio City, California, next to Blake's apartment. According to reports, the relationship was tumultuous. Blake was suspicious of Backley and hired a private investigator to learn more about her. Blake subsequently discovered that Backley maintained her lonely heart's fraud throughout the marriage. Backley had already married nine times before her marriage to Blake, many of the marriages were short-lived with one lasting a single day. Her eighth spouse was Glenn Wolfe, who is renowned for having the most faithful marriages. Backley had four children, a son named Glenn and a daughter named Holly with her second husband Paul Gorin, a daughter named Jerry Lee Lewis, born July 28, 1993, with an unspecified man after DNA tests revealed that the child was not fathered by Jerry Lee Lewis, and daughter Rose Lenore Sophia Blake, born in June 2000 and initially named Christian Shannon Brando, with actor Robert Blake. Blake brought Backley to dinner at Vitello's restaurant on Tahunga Avenue in Studio City on May 4, 2001. Backley was shot in the head shortly thereafter while riding in the passenger seat of Blake's black 1991 Dodge Stealth, which was parked on a side street around the corner from the restaurant. Blake said he returned to the restaurant to retrieve a pistol he had left there and was not there at the time of the incident. Blake said he left his pistol in the restaurant, but it was subsequently established that the gun did not fire the bullets that killed Backley. Blake was found not guilty of Backley's murder and one of the two charges of recruiting a former stuntman to kill her on March 16, 2005. The last solicitation count was dismissed when it was discovered that the jury was deadlocked 11 to 1 in favor of acquittal. Blake's defense team, headed by M. Gerald Schwarzbach, questioned the veracity of acquaintances who claimed Blake intended to pay them to assassinate Backley and also suggested the victim was killed by one of the individuals she had previously deceived out of money. Lori Levinson, a law professor, stated that the prosecution established a possible motive for murder, Blake's vitriol toward Backley due to his belief she had duped him into fathering a child in order to gain access to his wealth, but failed to establish Blake's direct or indirect involvement in her death. According to CBS News legal expert David Hancock, no one aspect of their case was powerful enough to overcome the many weak connections. In a statement after the decision, Los Angeles County District Attorney Steve Cooley described Blake as a miserable human being and the jurors as very dumb. Blake's defense team and jury members replied that the prosecution had failed to establish its case. The defense said throughout the trial that Backley was a heroin addict who used her eldest daughter, Holly, for prostitution. Blake was held responsible for his wife's tragic death in a civil hearing on November 18, 2005. Backley's three oldest children sued him, alleging that he was negligent in the death of their mother. The trial featured a famous Perry Mason moment when Eric Dubin, the attorney for Backley's family, called the girlfriend of Blake's longtime bodyguard and co-defendant Earl Caldwell to the stand and inquired as to whether she believed they were involved in the crime, a question she had never been asked before. The court was filled with dead stillness, Dubin recounted. Tears welled up in her eyes as she hesitated for what seemed like an eternity before leaning towards the microphone and stating unequivocally that she believed they were engaged. Blake was sentenced to pay $30 million by the jury. Blake filed for bankruptcy in 2006, owing $3 million in legal costs and unpaid state and federal taxes. Blake was served with a tax lien by the state of California on April 9, 2010 for $1,110,878 in overdue taxes. On April 26, 2008, an appeals court affirmed the civil case judgment but lowered Blake's penalty estimate to $15 million from $30 million. Blake's lawyers objected that jurors discussed Michael Jackson and O.J. Simpson verdicts inappropriately during his case's deliberations, but the appeals court found that such conversations were permissible.